Welcome guys. So today we are just solving. Uh, I'm just going to solve these two integration. So before I start, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more calculus problem or more other math kind of math problem I solve. And uh, I want to solve it step by step. Okay, so uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So this iron uh, today we we are proving this iron, and now I, I think I only prove this iron because J and are similar. So J and are similar to iron. So I think the step is the same. J and are similar to iron. so I only prove iron. Oh, by the way, so in in a previous video, uh, or you can go to my channel to check. There's a I proved the reduction formula to this. Uh, so this one is similar to the lead reduction formula, but a little bit difficult. Okay, so uh, let's say we ion is just this, right? So sine an uh, ax, right? So uh, what I want to do is I I may just uh, what can I do, right? The only thing I can do is I, I just add I just add one and then become this, right? And uh, and I use the negative one ray cosine ax. The derivative is just sine ax. Okay, so this is sine m plus one ax minus negative a cosine ax derivative. Okay, and I use the integration by part. So let me remind u dv equals to u v minus v du. So this is sine m plus one ax minus negative a cosine ax minus this one, right? and this is the derivative of this one over sine m plus one ax. Okay, and I should say dx. Okay, so the first one uh, seems like that we already have. Okay, so the next one, uh, you see, uh, this is this one can be turned now into plus, right? And then this one, okay, so this is power a cosine ax, and then it's negative n minus one, and the sine n plus two ax. Remember that uh, then derivative, so it's cosine ax. And then there's a here, so a canceled. So this turn over also canceled. Okay, so, okay. so what is it? negative one of a cosine ax sine n plus one ax plus what? Plus uh, minus one negative n. So one over sine a. So cosine square is one over sine ax, right? So this is sine n plus two ax. Re uh, I just remember reminded you this is iron. So iron is what is this cosine ax sine n plus one ax plus negative uh, negative n minus one. And at least the first term is i n plus two. And there is a plus term, right? So sine squared. Uh, this is sine squared. The uh, cancel with the, uh, with these two terms. So this is. Uh, n plus one right there's a negative sign so i n okay so combine we get minus n i n equals to negative a uh right right i think it's correct and then this is negative okay and uh okay but but the, the 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 key point is that uh once the key point is that once you get this right once you get this one then somehow like this is different from the 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 one the one the uh what we have right so okay so the 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 I, I think the trick is uh is what so the trick is that uh, you just you just do some manipulation, and I, I ho hopefully there will be the same. So we just times a negative sign it becomes this. Okay, so that means m minus m plus one i m plus two is this. Uh, uh, so change this turn into the left hand side. One over a cosine a x sine m plus one a x plus an i n. Okay, and finally shift. Okay, because we are we are getting now we have a relation one plus two is n right, but we want to start from n, so n shifted to n minus two, we get n minus one i n. 
is 1 over a, cosine ax the same, but n go to minus 2, so say n minus 2 ax plus n minus 2 i n minus 2. Okay, and then we go back to see, uh, is it is, is this the same as what we derived? Yes, it's the same. So, correct. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next videos.